is Kathy Carlo. I am a rock climber and we are in the New River Gorge in West Virginia here working on a climbing project this spring. It's a hard route. I mean, there's a reason only one other woman and only like 10 people total have ever done it. You step up to this 100-foot wall, and immediately your attention draws to the roof. And once you pull past the roof, you're in kind of like this open book. The project is called The Greatest Show on Earth. It's a 513 trot line. It's graded at that level because of how difficult it is. The route came into existence. It was in the 80s when Lynn Hill put it up. My name is Lynn Hill, and I did the first ascent of this route called The Greatest Show on Earth. I gave her a little bit of data in terms of where's your foot gonna go, in what order, where you're gonna stop, hang on, take off the gear, clip it. If you fall, you kind of clank on either side of the wall sometimes. It could be a bad fall. Today, I just kind of want to give it a little beta burn and uh, re-familiarize with the route and the gear again. Getting more comfortable and familiar with all of it makes it less scary. All right, on me. I don't know why, it just always feels so far away. Thanks. So I'm going to hand him here, and then I'm going to basically, I'm actually coming out to that horn. Okay. Okay, on me. Nice job. I mean, it's a great jog. Nice. I like I like that part where like something feels so hard and so impossible and like you can't even like fathom getting to the top of it and then suddenly it just starts becoming more and more possible. The whole point is to just try and, and see what the difference between things that are possible and impossible are from a physical standpoint but also a mental and emotional standpoint as well. And like some days things are gonna feel really impossible, but like some things, things that are, are worth it, like things that really matter, take a lot of time and space. But understanding that, you have to be patient with that process and really just patient with yourself. For me, it's sort of this journey of healing. There's something about doing the motions, being outside in nature, listening to the river and the background and the birds and the trees, all of that is just such a good environment to be in. I'm just lining them up so I can put them on my harness and rack them in order. This is gonna be my third or fourth time on it. I think it's just getting that upper section really, really dialed. All right.
minutes. Yeah, she's trying to whittle this thing down. Where she's at right now is considered the technical crux of the climb. You know, the single hardest section and the upper section is still difficult. <sighs> so tired. The thing about climbing is oftentimes I feel like you're really put in this position where, you know, you're, you're pretty uncomfortable. And I think learning how to push past that discomfort as a human being is just so important. It just comes down to believing in yourself and knowing that you can. All right. I feel ready. I am feeling mean. I'm feeling mean. Tonight I'm feeling mean. I'm feeling mean. Here we go. Tonight I'm feeling mean. Gonna make an ugly scene. Tonight. I'm so excited. I think that was probably one of my best goes and it just makes me, I don't know, I just, I'm, I'm proud of myself. I think to send it, I'll have to try a little bit harder, but it's like, I, I feel like every time I do it, I try a little bit harder. If I just got to the top in a single push without having gone through the mess of it all, I mean, it wouldn't be nearly as satisfying, you know? I feel like I gave it my best go. It's all anyone can ever expect or ask of themselves, you know? When I come back down from a climb, it sort of gives me courage to face other big and scary things in, in my life. I will definitely be back next year to put it together. I'm okay with leaving and not getting the climb this trip. You know, it kind of gives me an excuse to come back to it. And I'll probably be in a different space then too. I'll, I'll be a different person when I come back and I think that's pretty cool too.